Good evening and welcome back once again. If you missed the last match, you were, well, you missed the thriller, so go back and watch it. But you can see in the bottom left, it was a 1-0 win, but that doesn't tell the full story. I mean, we were dominated the game. We just could not finish the game off. We just couldn't get a goal. Made some substitutions. Pierre, well, he didn't actually come on. He started the game, but he, he went out wide. And with literally the last kick of the game, we ended up getting a winner with Pierre scoring it with his XC assists. Yeah, amazing finish to that game. And you can see in the top right there, we are now joint top of the league with Levante. So let's just jump in to see who will be playing this match. Yeah, we've got some tired legs out there, so we've had to make some changes. We are going to keep Pajer playing because he's on that hot streak. And, uh, you know, when you've got a flashing condition, you want to play them as much as possible. I've actually switched him to the left wing today. We're going to play Goyos up front because Xerxi needs to be rested. We're going to keep Carlos Perez, Fabio Vieira, Herrera. And we've got Hedge playing in defensive mid. Made a couple of changes at the wing backs. And we've got Kovacevic back in defence as well. Again, we just need to shuffle these players around. So, yeah, let's hope we have another win. But maybe we want it to be a little bit more comfortable than... The last uh, couple of matches, we've had a 1-0 win in literally the last seconds of the game. And then previously, we were playing an extra time to get the winner as well. So, some tired, tired legs out there. But I suppose the main, things, main thing, really, is that we're, we're getting the wins. Um, however, we're getting them, we're find, finding a way. Normally not the easy way, but... But just one note of concern is, you know, the star players were brought in. Maybe have had a, a little bit of an off game the past couple. Um, the likes of Vieira, who was just dominating teams. Um, and Carlos Perez seems to have lost his way a little bit. Not massively, you know, not having terrible games. They're just... Not really bringing that spark to the game, and um, that killer finish or that killer pass. But I suppose we've had other players that have stepped up, so you can't expect those players to do it all of the time. Good block there on the line. Nice little ball from Fabio Vieira there. And of course, it's been a while since uh, Gios has played a game. So. Oh, nice tackle there in the end. Looked a bit dodgy for a few seconds. Here's Peugeot again. Been probably the star player the past few matches. Well, without a doubt, really. And here he is. Oh, lovely little ball across there. And it's a tap in for Carlos Perez. I'm glad he's got a goal. Because like I say, he hasn't been on the best of form. Not playing terribly or anything. Just just the end product really that hasn't been quite there. But Vichet he nearly gets pushed off the ball there. Manages to keep his composure. And it's a tap in for Carlos Perez. Just go through the... Yeah, defender probably should have got that clear to be fair. And the ball went across. But that's what we wanted. We wanted an early start. There's been a pattern amongst the, the past few matches which has been we've been playing well, uh, attacking very, very well, lots of possession, and we just can't get that first goal. And it gets to 30 or 40 minutes, and you can see that... I wouldn't say desperate's the right word, but maybe a bit panicky in the last third because we're not getting that goal early enough. And maybe missing a few chances, and we've... To be fair, there was a few matches where we've hit the post two or three times. So you need that little bit of luck as well. Lovely ball through into Carlos Perez. Oh, Pierre. The form he's on, you'd expect him to bury that. Yes, it was on his right foot. Whether he could have took on his left is another thing. Lovely ball. Oh, that's a poor finish. Maybe even could have taken a touch. I think the defender was uh, well clear. Of 
Carlos Perez could be in again. With a strong tackle in the box there, I think they've got to be a little bit careful. It's a couple of shoulder barges that they've got away with. a poor header from my defender got in and won the ball and just played it straight to, uh, to the midfielder oh lovely header there oh, a nice little ball from Cher he's on the ball again ah he just loses out Just trying to knock it forward a little bit too much. It's a lovely play. Oh, what a goal that was. And this time share doesn't make any mistake. Oh, I didn't mean to do this Sue celebration for God's sake. Um lovely play though that was a really nice team team goal you know Vieira Perez involved Gios and then he plays it through to Bajer and outside of the foot slots around the keeper no I don't want to see that celebration thank you nothing against Ronaldo but it's such an iconic celebration I don't really think another player can uh, can pull that one off But that's more like it. Like I say, you know, we get that first goal fairly early and can quite often be two or three. Oh, lovely player there. Oh, and he could be in. Again, Carlos Perez. Mm, he's been doing that a lot, cutting inside and then losing it. Uh, I think we're gonna think of a different tactic when we're we're using that wide. Again, I do like my wingers to be that inverted winger, cutting in on their feet. Whoops! That was nearly a disaster. Bajer again. Oh, just wide. Again, that wasn't an easy chance this time. Um, just side foot it wide. I mean, quite literally, Bajer, Bajer could have had a hat trick already. Got it again, and he manages to hold off the defender. So it's showing some real. That's got to be a foul. Come on. Um. Share now, Vieira. Oh, it's blocked. Again, again, it's blocked. It's always blocked. But there it is. It's half time. Let's have a look at the stats. Yeah. So possession again. Pretty good possession. Lots of chances. They haven't really had a chance. I think the only time really we were worried is when we had that sort of dodgy pass back to the keeper that nearly went wrong. And yeah, Bajer involved in both goals. The assist first time and then with goal the second and then he could have scored another couple. But we just want to continue where we're left off. Keep that pressure on. Maybe try and get a third. The third would really just make things very comfortable um, that's a poor, that was a poor pass but got away with it didn't what's going on with this passing what is going on with that passing Pfft. 
yeah, I mean, that pass just led, and we couldn't do anything really there, and the keeper can't do anything. Nice finish. What a terrible start of the half. Actually, a really nice strike. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It seemed like every pass I was playing was just like a very weird pass. Um, anyway, right, we need to get, we need to get that third goal now just to get a little bit of a gap again. Nice play. Really nice play. Oh, poor pass from Vieira. Didn't expect that from him. Expect that ball to go to the attacker and that then to the be rustling in the back of the net. Keep the ball nicely there, very he has got a lot of strength compared to what you think you'll probably have. Gios, oh, hits the bar. Bit of a loopy had it, but nearly caught the keeper off guard. I mean, Gios hasn't really done a lot in the game at all, really. He was involved in that nice second goal. That's a poor pass. But nice tackle from Vieira there. That's much better. Okay, sure it's been absolutely held there. How is that not a foul? I'm just taking his legs out there to be honest, but still get it back. Get a bit of luck. Ah, have to get the tackle in. Again, the, the being pretty physical. What is going on? I have no idea what's going on there, but I'm going to make some changes. I am bringing on Castledean and Harrington, and I'm going to have to take off Fabio Vieira and Bajer. They're just out on the legs a bit. Bajer's obviously had a fantastic game, and I really don't want to take him off, but... We need to think about the next match. I'd like to take Sufair off as well, but just got no one really we can bring on. For sure, Bajer has been man of the match so far. Let's hope he's on the winning side. Come the full time whistle. Good block there, but it's going to be a corner. Only 20 minutes left, and under a little bit of pressure, and we shouldn't have been. Good tackle from Carlos Perez. And Gias could lead the attack. There's not much legs left in this team. Oh, lovely ball out to Hamilton, who's just come on. So he's got a bit to give. Oh, deflects just not quite where we need it to be. And Herrera loses out this time. Losing out some cheap balls. And I cannot... Got a defender back. And it's 2-2. I cannot believe that. Herrera gave the ball away, but where's the rest of the defence? Yeah, he just... He just couldn't... He wasn't... Just couldn't get a hold of him. Maybe he should have taken him out and, and taken the risk of getting a red card, but he just stepped up too far and then he had all that room behind him. Um, no support. And again, a nice finish though, in off the post. So 
so after convincing 2-0 lead um, the start of that second half has really caused us troubles and <laughs> starting from scratch again um, got to be careful not to lose this and Herrera loses out again he has not been having a good game but he wins it back there Wins it back there, and Carlos Perez is in. Oh, good save. It was too near the keeper, though. Nearly made amends, Herrera. He lost it, but he's won it back. Didn't give up. Nice ball, but it was maybe he just couldn't quite get it out from underneath his feet. It was too near the keeper. And... Yeah... Oh, I didn't mean to do that, actually. Caulfield. Chaos. What are they doing? That's just stupid. I mean, you wouldn't do that in real life. Great tackle there. Oh, come on. That was a great tackle. I'm not even going to watch that. I thought I was might have a stress-free game in this one after we're, we're winning 2-0. Oh, Poor touch from out though, and then he just... Oh, he, why he falls over there. But he's in again. Oh, he's got a score there. I know it was blocked, like it pretty much always is, but it's got to be putting that away. Herrera. Gios. Oh, Gios, what are you doing? The ball was almost right to you. Now, what can Herrera do? Don't give it away, Herrera, for God's sake. Lovely ball, Gios. Oh, and it's wide. Oh, that was the chance. That was the chance. But it's 2 2. Actually, ended up being a, quite a thrilling game in the end. And those stats tell it all. A look at that 60% possession, 7 out of the 11 shots on target. But at the end of the day, they had two shots, two on target, and they got two goals. And that's all that matters at the end of the day, really. Got it, though. We deserve to win that, but we threw it away and. Um, yeah, well played Ibar. Two really well taken goals. And looking at the team, Pierre, man of the match, 100% he was. Yep, Carlos Perez, he played well. I would say Herrera probably did not deserve a six. He gave the ball away a few times and most importantly for one of the goals. So might be being a little harsh, but I think maybe he deserved a five or something like that. You know, we'll fight again the next game. And the next match, we're playing Leganes, who are actually now just ahead of us in second with 15 points. So that's a proper six-pointer. You know, we need to get back up the league. Third's pretty respectable, but we want to try and get promoted first time. We don't want to be spending two divisions in um, the Segunda division. Join me for that next time. I hope you guys did enjoy. This past few matches have definitely taken the stress on me, but we've had some entertaining matches, which is what I want. So, yeah, if you, if you did enjoy it, hit the like button, drop some comments down below, and hit the subscribe button if you can. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.